Um, what? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Cryostasis, and I'm here on the Vortex server along with Homicide here. And we just made a little bit of a wager. And he says that that one's going to turn first. I say this one's going to turn first, and we just bet two diamonds on it. So you guys can read the chat if you would like. So, yep, yeah, we're going to sit here and wait for these guys to turn to see who has just earned themselves two diamonds. I'm really hoping I win because I don't have any diamonds. I'm going to have to go mining for some, but I will pay up if, you know, that one turns first. But he's not going to. He's not going to. Turn, guy, turn. Oh, no. <laughs> I guess I need to go mining because I now owe Homicide two diamonds. Oh, dang it. Come on, guy, why didn't you go? Come on. I bet she's gonna become like a butcher, too. Like, the most useless guy there is. You failed me once. Do it again, guy. I know you want to. <laughs> and he is making sure that guy is safe. <laughs> that is one heck of a torch. <laughs> Okay, guys, so I guess I've got some mining to do and some. S <laughs> I guess I've got some mining to do, so I will see you guys whenever I find his diamonds so I can pay him. Thought I'd show you guys. I found my first diamonds, and I now have enough to pay homicide. There we go. So I just thought I'd show you guys that. Man, this is a big vein of them, too. Okay guys, so we're back over here at Homicide's base. He's actually right over there working on his villager spawner. And I figured I'd come by and drop off his diamonds. Not really sure where he wants me to put them, but I do have a chest here. So let's just kind of, I don't know, right here. Let's leave these and a sign. Got a workbench handy. Yeah, there's one. We'll use this one. I told him that I'd uh, not not forget to pay him, so keep him true on that. Just walk over here. Oops. Dang it. Shift guy. Okay, let's see. What do we want to say to him? There we go. I think that'll work. The villagers betrayed me. Cry out. Alright, cool. So, on to the next order of business. I have... Uh, gotten the location of the third end portal actually and what I've been told is it might have a little bit of you know something built there but it's nothing major so um, oh and it's also somebody else's base like they were going to do something with it but I guess they got banned or kicked off the server or something so uh, I was told that I could have it so let's go check that out. Alright guys so I'm here at the Ender Ender once again and this stuff is loud let's turn that down Okay, so I'm making myself a brand new diamond pick. Grab myself 30 levels already. Found this book on the floor. I'm just going to put it in this chest. More like one of these chests over here. Perfect. Okay. Let's go ahead and hope for Fortune 3. Uh, not bad, not bad. Can't complain. I'm going to go ahead and get probably 30 more levels or something. Do I have some iron in here? I do. Let's go ahead and make a, ourselves another sword. Wish I had one more diamond, I'd make myself a sword. Um, and I guess we can enchant my armor as well, so let's go ahead and do that. I'll be back with 30 levels. Okay, 30 levels, here we go. Just for good luck, let's get like, kind of a shorter one. I know it doesn't make any difference, there we go, perfect. Sharpness 3, Fire Aspect 2, Knockback 2. Heck yeah, I can deal with that. Let's also enchant this uh, Iron Pick here, because I really would like Fortune. Uh, just in case I find some more diamonds. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and put this and this away. In case I derp up at the uh, elevator thing. Once again. So I will be back. Oh yeah, one, one more thing before I uh, make this cut is, as you can see with my hearts bouncing, I noticed this in editing last episode. You know, after I was done with the episode, but they've already got a beacon here, so don't need to put one in here. So, yep, I will see you guys in just a second. And we've got our 30 levels. Let's go ahead and enchant this pick. Oh, yes, fortune. It's fortune too, but it's better than no fortune. So that 
I, I can deal with that. <laughs> I was actually really hoping that it wasn't going to be Silk Touch, although I would take Silk Touch as well, so I could just Silk Touch the diamonds. Uh, let's go ahead and do our armor real quick. Um, just come over here and kind of dump some of this crap off. I know they've got a place to dump stuff, but it's over there, and just, those will despawn. So, I will be back with you guys once I get another level 30. And here we go, level 30 on our helmet. Ah, dang it. Nothing too terribly great, but we'll we'll deal with it, I suppose. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to make another helmet. Do I have five iron? Yes. I really want aqua affinity and respiration if possible, so we're just going to make another iron helmet. Helmet try number two. Let's get a shorter one. There we go. Bam. <laughs> They're both pretty bad. They... Yeah. Protection 3, or pro I'll, I'll take the projectile just because it's level 4 and skeletons sometimes hurt, I guess. I'm trying to make excuses, guys. And here we go with the chest plate. <sighs> Today is not my day, and my um, voice just completely destroyed itself, so I will be back with a better voice and another level 30 levels. Let's get some pants. <sighs> wow. I... You know what? What do I got? Projectile projection, uh, fire protection, and blast protection. These are probably going to be regular protection, and I'm just going to have all four types of protection, I suppose. How about some protection boots? Fire protection four and breaking three. Out of all the armor that I've got, that's probably the best. Uh, you know, out of all the enchants for armor-wise I've got. Also, I'm not sure if I showed you guys my bow earlier, but first of all, I um, named the first sword that I made, and <laughs> I enchanted it. got looting three on breaking three, which is pretty good. And I also made a whole bunch of bows and put them all together for power five, punch two, and breaking three, flame one. Enchanted a bunch of fishing rods, and I think you've seen everything else, so... Yeah, I, oh, I also made a ton of pumpkin pie, uh, just to make sure that, you know, I didn't run out anytime soon. So, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, and go ahead and eat up a little bit. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead, you know what, we're going to record me getting out of here, just in case I completely miserably fail. Once again, I've gotten out of here once alive, but, whoa, not sure what happened there. But, you know, who knows what the third time will be. Third time's the charm, maybe? Okay. Jump! Oh, duh. Hold shift. Now jump. Yep, there we go. That's much better. Whew, have a heart. Sweet. Okay, so I will see you guys back um, somewhere. I did go check the uh, coordinates for the third end portal, and it turns out that somebody else has already taken it over, so... I will find somewhere else. So I came down to the blaze spawner to get some blaze rods, and I decided to, you know, since it gave me 31 levels, I'd enchant another sword. Bam! Looting three. Good cow sword, at least. So only if it had the fire aspect on it as well. What is my other one? Where'd my other sword go? I, I don't know. Crap. Oh, there it is. Sharpness three, fire aspect two, knockback two. I wonder if it's possible to combine these? I kind of doubt it. Uh-oh, what's going on? Hmm. Oh, there we go. Maybe the server was lagging or something. Not really sure. Nah, I can't combine them, but that's, that's a pretty good sword. Alright, guys. So, I think for at least for a little while on this episode, I would like to just kind of look around. I've been told that I can have a couple of places, you know, a couple of I've actually been told that I can have two different end portals, and it turns out that they're both taken, so I'm going to give up on the end portals and just kind of search around. I just actually went through there, and, you know, as you can see, I've got the 19T. I found three diamonds in there, super excited, a couple of saddles, some gold horse armor, and some other random junk. Oh, three saddles, sorry, and some other random junk. Nothing too spectacular, but, you know, it's something at least. And so... I'm not 100% sure what I want to build yet. There was one build that I was really wanting to do for a really epic looking base, but 
I went into a creative world of mine and was testing it out because I wasn't sure if it was going to work. It was something that I was going to have to put in like the middle of the ocean. And ever since the update where, uh, let's see, do I have a, yeah, yeah, we can kind of uh, show you guys. Ever since the update where you can take water, and it, well, from like out here, and it fixes itself like that, as you can see, uh, I didn't used to do that unless you had a block right underneath it like this would usually fix itself. But if you did it like out here, it wouldn't unless you put a block right underneath that. Ever since that update, uh, the plans for the base that I was going to do is just completely and totally just gone. So I can't do that base. It's completely shot and there's no hope of it. And I'm really sorry if you can hear that baby in the background. It's not my kid and so I have no control over it. Actually, I'm going to be right back. Okay, really sorry about that. But yeah, like I said, I have no control. But these villagers are going nuts. Well, they were a second ago. They were just like running around like 40 billion miles a second. Look at this guy. He's just hauling. Not really sure what's going on with all of the villagers going nuts, but okay, whatever. But anyways, guys, today we're just going to be kind of looking around, I guess, for a place to kind of settle down. Just kind of find a place that kind of looks good to me, I guess. And oh, one thing that I do want to thank you guys on is last episode, uh, you guys told me that, you know, gave me feedback on my Minecraft sounds versus my voice and all of that good stuff. And the feedback was really positive, really good, said that it was, you know, some pretty good levels. So thank you for that. And there's one thing that I might kind of want to check out this episode. Uh, it's been a couple days since the last bit that you've seen. Man, that looks really crazy. Uh, but... If you go into the mu music and sounds here, we are in the 13W42A snapshot. So, and I think in the previous part of this video, we were in 41B, but they added ambient and environment and separated that from blocks. It used to be just blocks and environment, but they added the ambient slash environment. So I'm wondering if that involves portals, the ambient. So if we uh, come across a portal, we will probably check that out. Um, I don't know that I'm really interested too much in the savannah biomes, although they do look really cool. Man, that's kind of crazy that the dirt's not grown, but okay. Or the grass isn't grown, I mean, but savannah biomes are really cool. I really love the way the trees form and stuff, but I don't know how to build in one. And I know that a lot of other people on the server have been looking for savanna biomes and are probably building in them and things like that. So eh, I can't really be too bothered about it. Let's see if we can, you know, come across something a little more interesting than just a savanna biome or just a desert biome or something like that. Like if we came across ice spikes or something, that would be pretty interesting. Every time I, yeah, there, there's a bit of lag going on, but every time I hear the, um, ankle break, you know, from falling, you know, basically fall damage. I like cringe because I'm used to UHC mode off of the MCDC server. And I'm like, oh man, can't take too much damage. But no, there's, there's regen on this server, which is fantastic. Although I won't lie, I really love the UHC mode. And I don't know. I, I also really enjoy not having to worry so much about fall damage because I tend to take a lot of it. I've got three deaths. And I can't remember what that third death is from, but it was probably fall damage. Actually, you know what? We can probably check uh, statistics. Ooh, ooh. I cannot believe it. There we go. I was going to say, that took forever. Mobs. Okay, creeper. Uh, so the third one was from a creeper. Oh, well. But the first two deaths I took were both from fall damage. One of them you guys saw on video in my first episode. The second one, I was at spawn. There was this platform really high up above spawn. I think I showed it in the first video, but I didn't go up there because I realized that it was just a platform to overlook spawn. Well, I went up there, and when I jumped off, instead of jumping off the back into the giant ocean that was behind it, like a smart person would do, ooh, lava, I jumped off the front because there was a little bit of the stuff that I could see, a little bit of water and stuff, and I missed, like, I say that all this area is water, I landed, like, right here, like, two pixels 
on this block and died because I'm a derp and I, I honestly don't even remember that third death at all <laughs> apparently I was killed by a creeper but I don't really remember it oh well you know, whenever I first joined the server, I was like thinking to myself, I don't remember if I've talked about this before, but I was thinking to myself, you know, I'm going to join the server and if they have a death counter, I'm going to try to stay at zero deaths and you can see that that failed miserably. I, within 30 minutes of being on the server, I took a death. Pretty much that very first episode, I recorded completely straight through, like pretty much that entire episode. Uh, 21 minutes and 44 seconds. I've actually got it pulled up on my second screen right now because uh, I was checking to make sure that I had all of my uh, sounds, you know, equal to what they were on that video because I've switched between snapshots and 164 and stuff like that, which messes it all up. And so pretty much that entire video was re recorded in one shot. I think I might have had a couple of little cuts in there, but nothing too big. So literally within half an hour of being on the server, I died. Sheep. Ah, uh, man, there's a lot of savannas. One thing that I've really noticed a lot with the snapshots and the new terrain and stuff is that the two most prominent biomes, in my opinion, that I've come across personally, savanna and desert. They are everywhere. And I think that there's some kind of code in there, at least I've kind of heard rumors of it, that biomes have code to where they're not supposed to spawn next to, you know, certain ones. So you're not really supposed to have desert and then taiga anymore, I don't think. Don't take my word on that, you know, for certain, but I think that's the case. Oh, what do we have over there? Oh, it's just Taiga. Okay. <laughs> it's Savannah and Taiga. That's pretty much just as bad because isn't uh, Savannah like one of the biomes that doesn't rain? I think Mesa, Savannah, and Desert don't rain. Or snow, obviously. Actually, I don't know um, if Savannah uh, and Desert. No, Desert definitely doesn't. But I don't know if uh, Savannah and Mesa will snow above level 100 or 128 or whatever it is. Ooh, that's kind of rare to find, the snow like that. I think I've shown this in a video before or talked about it, but if you can find snow like that, you like see how you're up here and you really can't tell that there's no block right there. See? Oh, there it all goes. But if you can find some stuff like that and it's you know flat with the ground around it, you can actually put a pretty cool secret base beneath that. And like if you're on a public server or something like that, uh, you can put a base there and nobody will be any the wiser. This would be a cool thing if I knew what to do with it. Let's kind of just take a step back and kind of look at it. Hmm. I really don't know what I would do with that. See, that's the thing about me. Like, I don't really know what to build. And then when I do get a build in mind, it's this super mega ultra epic build. But usually those can only be done, you know, the ones that I come up with at least can only be done in like very specific biomes or places like the end portal. For instance, I could build my base that I was planning for the end portal anywhere, but an end portal or something, you know, similar to center it around is the most ideal. So don't really want to, you know, go build that anywhere else. Although I might, I might. And I'm, like I said, I think I've said it, I'm not really sure what I'm looking for exactly, but, hmm, I, basically I'm just looking for somewhere that just kind of strikes me. Hi. Uh, you got stuck under a tree. Sucks to be you. Oh, one thing that I've also noticed with the snapshots, and I'm not sure if it's just me being a derp that I've never, never noticed this before, but skeletons don't seem to have as good of aimbot pro anymore. Like, I can usually run past a group of skeletons without getting shot now, and, you know, now that I say that, I'll probably, you know, run past a group of them and die. But they seem to miss quite a bit more, which is amazing and fantastic and perfect, and I love it, but who knows? Hello, zombie. I don't want to deal with you right now. That was the worst British accent I've ever heard. Do I have a boat? I do have a boat. Excellent. Let's go boating. 
And I think I'm going to make a little bit of a cut here because I doubt you guys want to just see all just one clip of me running through some crap that you've probably already seen before, you know, swamp and desert and forest and blah, blah, blah. So I will be back whenever I find something a little bit more interesting or, you know, at least a new biome. But a new biome, that was not what I was expecting to find. I literally stopped recording maybe a minute ago that way. And we just ran straight into a mesa. That's pretty... Where Where are we? Not that far, actually. About 1,200, 1,300 blocks from spawn and one on the X and about 8,000 on the Z. That's pretty wicked. Oh, dang it. That glitch again. I wonder why the boat actually looks like it stays there. Is it actually there? No, it's out in the ocean. Oh, there's a skelly up there. One thing that I kind of wonder is with the, that red sand there, I wonder if they're going to make it to where if you cook it, it'll give you the stained glass since we have stained glass now. And also, it'd be really cool if they made it to where you can color all sand. That would be something really, really neat. Oh, boy. There we go. Red sand. That stuff is pretty cool. What the heck does this thing have on it? Right. <laughs> like I said, it's been a couple of days since I've um, last recorded. Oh, um, I guess I could uh, let you guys know why I haven't recorded in a couple of days. The reason is because Minecraft, the Minecraft guys, they were doing their 48-hour mega live stream charity event to help out Kurt with his uh, Farlands or Bust thing. Uh, they were trying to get him to his $100,000 goal. He already had like $47,000 raised. What in the world? Is this still Mesa? Mesa Plateau. Okay, cool. I didn't ever... See, I've never seen one of those apparently. But yeah, he had $47,000 raised in season 4 of his Far Lands or Bus. They did a 48-hour live stream donating all the proceeds to uh, the uh, Child's Play Charity. That's what it's called. And they were going to roll all of that money into what Kurt has already raised this season for his Farlands or Bust. And they blew that out of the water. But I was watching that, and I actually really wanted to get this episode out on Saturday. But, yeah, I got busy watching that and, you know, wanted to watch that instead of, you know, record my own videos and stuff for the, you know, as much of that as I could. You know, it was one really interesting, and two, I just kind of wanted to help support them and, you know, be there. And, you know, it was just a really cool thing that they did, and that is now over. It's been over for about five hours now, and so, yeah, they blew the $100,000 goal way out of the water. Like, I think they were supposed to raise just under $53,000 to meet the $100,000 total goal, since Kurt already had a little over 47000 And they ended up raising over $117,000, I think. So, yeah, they blew it out of the water. Kurt, total, it's like 160% of the goal. Man, this place is huge. Is this just regular clay? Wow, I'm getting some massive, horrible lag. Okay, I'm just going to... Oh. Um, don't need a lever. Yeah, it's just regular old hardened clay. Interesting. I don't know why, but it just looks really dark. I guess it's because it's dark. But man, this biome just goes on forever. I've seen two or three other biomes like this, and I don't think I've ever gone through one that's it's just this big. I mean, I think I've actually seen one on, um, a program that will like you can put the seed of your world in. it's called a midst you can put the seed of your world into it and it will map out your world even places that you haven't gone and stuff like that and you know show you where certain biomes and stuff are and I think that I've seen one of these biomes stretch on for 3,000 blocks but I've never actually walked through one that that big and apparently this one might be that big Oh my gosh, how in the world am I supposed to get up here? 
What? What? And there, I might build near this biome, not with it in sight, because in my opinion, I mean, these places look pretty cool, but at the same time, they are absolutely hideous. But I might build somewhere close by to this biome, just because the amount of free hardened clay, and I don't even have to stain a lot of it, you know, it, it's just ridiculous how much hardened clay you can get from these. So I might build near this place. If not, then I'll definitely build a portal here. Uh, not just for myself, but for the entire server to use. Because this place is just cool and massive and just awesome. And there's no way that I could ever use this much uh, hardened clay by myself. So might as well give, you know, it to everybody. And so, yeah, I think I'm going to make another little cut. I'm not sure how long I've been recording. I should probably check. What? Oh, right. This version of the game doesn't show uh, durability being taken out. That sucks. I was like, that doesn't have unbreaking, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay, yeah, I'm going to make a cut because, wow, this place just stretches on and on and on and on. So I will be right back. All right, guys. I have found where I might be settling down. I haven't for sure decided but for now we're gonna be settling down here and I've kind of dug underground a little bit you can see tops right there use the fence post with some TNT just because I had TNT and I would usually use redstone because it's safer but whatever and came down here to look at the caving situation because there is a witch hut right there and I think I might want to make a perimeter with witch hut and use that as my base but then again there are some pretty um, massive areas around you can still see some of the red sand from the mesa biome over there it continues on over there and over here well we'll go over there and take a look but just look at the amount of caving that I would have to do which is perfectly okay with me I love caving and that just that right there just looks insane. I love how it just branches off in so many different directions. And oh, can I not walk through here? Oh, I thought I could. Here, let's uh, grab up our TNT again. Go away, dirt. Doop. Boop. All right. Ah, there we go. Now, if we do that, there we go. Oh, if you don't know this trick, by the way, just take a transparent block. Uh, like TNT or redstone or glowstone or something like that and if you um, just put a couple of fence posts down you can actually place the transparent block right against that fence post and into yourself so you don't even have to use pistons to get a little bit of an extra going on and yeah over here though it kinda looks like um, the TNT, or not TNT, the amount of caving goes way down. Like, there's nothing all over here. Let's just do that. Yeah, there's just a giant nothing right there. So, that would be, you know, pretty simple. And all the way over here is mainly just water and swamp. So, it'd be kind of a 50 50 thing. Over there, it's just a giant wreck, and it would take forever to perimeter out and I know that there's a couple of witch farms on the server already I think I know of at least two but I kind of like to make stuff for myself when it comes to farms and things like that I love automating stuff so it would be a fun little challenge for me and so yeah over there it's a giant mess and over here there's nice ocean a bunch of nothing right there no caves or anything like that there's not even a spawner that I can see which is kind of insane so it kind of evens out and looks like the main bulk of what I've got to do over here is that ravine right there which it's a pretty massive ravine I'm not gonna lie it would take me a while but oh well not a big deal can get it done so I think this is where I'm gonna be hanging out for now at least and we will kinda of see what you know where things take us where am I right okay We'll kind of see where things take us and things like that. I'm probably going to hang out down here for the night, actually. Um, let's pop a torch down so you guys can see. Oh, my gosh. And I think that's actually going to be it for this episode. Next episode, we'll probably, you know, try to build a little bit or at least scout out the area. Probably go caving, you know, something like that. There we go. There's there's other people on, so 
yeah, everyone's still on that was on earlier. And so, yeah, I think that we will be doing that. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm sorry if it's kind of short. I really, I'm not sure if it is or not. And so I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.